Hi and welcome. In this tutorial, what I'd like to do is just quickly go over the process of animating the door opening. And what we can do is maybe start from this position and just run in with the camera. Or actually, what we can do is just from where we're at. So I'm just going to press zero. And I just want to open up a second view here. So I'm just going to hover the mouse and drag this across. Okay. Just going to press zero to come back out of that. Okay. So first off, I'm just going to come up here to the animation window and just press A once or twice just to make sure all the keyframes are selected and delete keyframes. So that just removes any previous keyframes on on anything that's animated in the scene. Okay, so I just want to clear that and I'm going to come back to default. So if you want to just maybe save as at this stage so you don't undo any of your previous work. All right, so just a couple of things to point out before we begin. The longer your animation the obviously the longer it's going to be to to uh, render out the images so just be mindful of that you could do it out in different stages rather than leaving your computer running for hours and hours also that will depend on the level of detail or the quality of the render you wish okay so that's just one thing to remember okay so i'm going to come back to the beginning so i'm just going to hit the jump to first frame button and with the camera selected i'm just going to place a keyframe so i'm going to press i and select location rotation all right and what i might do is just do an aerial shot to come around to this position and then we can run in through the door all right so i'm just going to run the timeline on maybe to maybe we'll just go to two seconds so i'm just going to hover the mouse here and right click okay just place that at two seconds all right and i'm just going to drag the camera across here maybe to this side of the house and press r and z and just just rotate this back something like that okay Obviously, it's up to yourself what way you'd like to do it. Okay, so I'm going to press I here and select location rotation. And again, I'm going to run on maybe another two seconds to four seconds. And as this is just a demonstration, I'm not too concerned about my timing. So if you if you wanted to, you could do a better job at estimating how long the animation might flow obviously you can change your your keyframes later you can delete them or add them or move them okay but i'm basically just going to run through the process of a rough animation rather than anything smooth okay so with the timeline on the fourth second i'm just going to drag this across in the x and i'm just going to press one or actually control one and just line that up a little bit better with the back door okay so that's not too bad maybe a little bit more and i'm going to press n and what i might do is just on the x I might just put that in at 75 oh, 75 and Just rotate this around. Okay, maybe something like that. And okay, something like this. I'm just going to maybe keep the the house in shot for the moment okay so something like that and i'm just going to press n just to hide that i'm going to press i and insert a location rotation all right so let's 
drop the camera down a little bit. So if we move on to maybe maybe another two seconds. So I'm just going to hover the mouse here on six and right click. And I'm just going to select this in the Z and drag it down. And maybe a little bit forward, something like that. Okay. Maybe come across here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just press N again and just have a look at my angles. I can just, just rotate this in. What I might do is just, <coughs> excuse me, left click in here and just put 90 in the X and straighten this up a little bit better. Okay, something like that, it's not too bad. All right, and maybe just frame up the house a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at zero and I'm gonna press I for location rotation. Okay, so what we'd like to do, or what I'd like to do is separate the door and from the rest of this frame. Okay, and also what we need to do is just place the either the origin or the 3D cursor at this point down here so we can rotate on this, on this point. Okay, so just first up, we can select the door and tab into actually I had this done from a previous tutorial so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rejoin this so I'm just going to press and hold shift control J I'll just show you the process of separating it okay so with the door selected I'm just going to tab into edit mode press a once or twice all right and I'm just going to come in here and hover the mouse actually I'm going to switch to face selection so control tab and select face all right so I'm just going to press L, hover the mouse, L, L, all right. That's three of those selected. I'm just going to press H and we have a back one that we need to select. So again, I'm just going to press L and press H. All right. And that's exactly what we want to separate. So with those hidden, if we just press Alt H, they'll come back and they will all be selected. So we can just press P for separate and choose selection all right so we can just tab back to object mode and we have our door the piece that we need to separate so if we come over here just press i it's window dot double zero nine all right so if we do need it we know what it's called okay so i'm just going to tab into edit mode and i'm going to switch to vertex selection so control tab select vertex and I'm going to select this vertex here. Now we have two options. What we can do is place the 3D cursor at this point. So we could press Shift S and cursor to select it. All right, and that places the cursor here. So if we switch from the median point, so if I press the full stop, we're currently set to median. If we set this to the 3D cursor, we can pivot from this point. All right, and that's the first option. So if we tab back to edit mode, or sorry, object mode, and I press R, Z, we can just quickly place the cursor where we wish and pivot from that point, all right? I'm just gonna right click. Alternatively, if we're gonna be using this frequently, so if we're doing many doors and many animations, we could just press T and with the cursor placed at that point we could set the origin to the 3d cursor right and that way we we don't have to be concerned about which pivot point and what point we've selected okay so that's just two ways you could do it so i'm just going to switch back to median and i've i've set the origin to that point so if I, again if i press r z it's the very same thing we can pivot the door from that point okay All right, I'll just right click. Okay, so 
So we have the camera at this position and the timeline is here. So what I might do with the door selected, I might just put a keyframe. So I location rotation. And I'm just going to press T just to give us a bit more space. All right. So the next thing to do is maybe roll the camera on. So if we and actually just before we move on, it's obviously the speed the door will open now because we've placed a cursor here at six. If we go on two seconds, the door will take two seconds to open and or however long you choose. So obviously, again, you, if you plan out your animation, how quick do you want the door to open? Do you want it to open slowly, quickly, etc.? OK, so if we just I'm going to switch, come up to eight minutes on the timeline so i'm just going to right click and sorry if i just point out i have show seconds selected so if you go to view and show seconds or you can come back to frames all right so i might be confusing some people with this i should have mentioned it first i had seconds selected on the view all right okay all right with that done what we can do is press r z and after two seconds so one two so that's what i'm talking about the speed that it opens and press i and location rotation all right so with the camera i'm going to select it I'm going to drag it forward, maybe center it up a little bit better, drop it down, and OK. Let's press N just to see what I'm, all right. So I'm just going to press 7 for top view, and I'm in orthographic so i'm just going to straighten this camera on the z a little bit better okay something like this and maybe center it up on the door and something like this okay so i can just press n just to hide that and when i'm happy with my new location i can press i and location rotation and Okay, this is probably as far as I'm going to go with the animation. So just be sure if you cl are closing the door later that you have the camera past this point. So this is the viewing the viewing point of the camera. Okay, so if we just scroll back, all right. Maybe just put this on render. So Z render that. have a quick look and see how it's going yeah okay so that's not bad timing that looks pretty good okay okay that's not too bad i'd be happy with that okay so hopefully that was helpful and you can get on with animating doors and windows etc okay so that's going to do it thanks for watching i'll see you next time goodbye